the Garmin Edge 530 and the Garmin Edge 830. Two of the newest cycling devices from Garmin haven't been without their issues initially. Early adopters have reported three main issues with the software, software for these units, and they are firstly, the sensor pairing has been locking up. The sensor pairing has been locking up and not recording data. Now these things are data loggers, so it's quite important they continue to log data out in the ride. So people have been reporting that as an issue. Secondly, phone connectivity for no notifications and things uh, hasn't been coming through. And thirdly, locking up and stability when creating routes or using the route functionality. So three major issues with these for early adopters. This week saw the release of firmware 3.50 for both of these devices. They're very similar and they also have very similar version numbering and the change log is identical for both as well. So let's go through that. I think there's something very interesting from Gutman listed in this change log. Come on. One sec. Okay. So listed here in the change log is an interesting paragraph from Garmin. We have made changes to prioritize AMP Plus connections in a sensor search user interface and highly encourage anybody having sensor or phone connectivity issues to remove and reconnect all of their sensors. So if you're not already uh, set up with all your data screens, I'd go a factory reset on both the 530 and the 830. Or if you want to go through the process that they list there, unpair all of your devices, including your phone, and repair them all up and away you go. That should be good after you've updated to 3.5. The interesting paragraph there is that they recommend using Ant Plus connection on a sensor with your Garmin devices. So they're recommending Ant Plus over BLE. And the reason being is they state there are no customer facing benefits using BLE connections unless there's, it's the only option for a sensor to be used. And there's often additional features to be gained by using Ant Plus. You get cycling dynamics, etc. with Ant Plus. They go on to state that we see the main customer benefit of a BLE connection on a sensor to be the usage with indoor training apps running on smartphones, tablets, or home desktops at this time. So in effect, not the Garmin Edge units. It does work, but they prefer you to use AND+. Interesting. And then the three issues fixed there are the three issues we've seen reported mostly in the software from early adopters. The first one being fixed a connectivity issue that could cause AND+, and BLE sensors to lose connection and never reconnect. So the AND+, and Bluetooth stack just completely shitting itself and uh, not reconnecting until you reboot the device. So they list that as being fixed, one down. Second on the list is fixed an issue with Bluetooth communication that was impacting phone connectivity and device power down stability. Okay, two issues fixed. Good so far. And thirdly there, fix a shutdown that could occur when calculating a round. So that's all three. All three major software issues reported early on by early adopters fixed in this change log to 3.50. And that's for both of these units. So if you are an early adopter and have had these issues, and have updated, see how you go. Let me know below. I've been using these as data loggers indoors. I'm in a big puffer jacket at the moment. It's winter here. I haven't been outdoors a lot. When I have been, they've been okay, but definitely, as always, do your updates, lots of things fixed. Happier days out on the bike. All right, there we are. Thanks for watching this one, and we'll be back with more soon.